It's often said, we all know someone Ellen Alliance has helped, and this is probably true. Thanks to your kind generosity, Ellen Alliance has grown from one nurse caring for five patients to today caring for 2,500 families every year in their times of need, making a lasting impression on people's lives. Many are now volunteers and supporters themselves. Today, it costs a huge £4.8 million a year to run Ellen Alliance hospices, with just 30% coming from the government. The remainder is raised through charity shops, events, legacies, a hospice lottery and generous donations from businesses and the local community. Barnes Rove's approach to raising money for the hospice has been to stop expenditure we'd otherwise incur, in our case Christmas cards, and just to use that money to donate instead. We can send an e-card, we don't need to send Christmas cards. GlaxoSmithKline at Dartford have been involved with the Ellen Alliance right from the start. It's an organisation that's close to the heart of many of our employees, friends, family, as well as the local community. We're delighted to play our part by providing corporate sponsorship, as well as enabling our employees to provide help through practical support. It's vital Ellen Alliance care in our local community continues. Let's look at how your contribution makes a difference. We provide hospice care and support for around 80 children and young people and this can include providing chemotherapy treatment at home. They have been, since Amelia was diagnosed, uh, a lifeline. They have been there. Megan is like part of the family. Mandy is like part of the family. Here are the two nurses that look after Amelia. They come in and they don't just look after the illness, they look after the child and the family. And that's really, really important. My connection with the uh, Ellen Hospice was when my youngest son was suffering from a, a kidney tumour and we got a lot of first class help at home, something that was absolutely essential to us when we've sort of, we got a young baby, a lot of medical needs and uh, the people from the hospice were there all the time just giving us all the help we needed. We had absolutely no idea what we'd done without the help of the Ellen Foundation, did a terrific job. Our day therapy gives families a short break whilst patients enjoy arts, crafts, complementary and spa therapies, even a hot lunch in a safe, fun and relaxing environment. Our specialist nurses and consultants based at Darrant Valley Hospital give advice and support to patients and their families who've been admitted to the hospital. Transition from teens to twenties can be a difficult time and we provide the care and support to prepare patients for the physical, social and emotional needs they require. Our hospice in Northfleet provides a safe haven for patients who require specialist nursing care, respite or dignified end-of-life environment. Oh, they're wonderful. Staff, you could not believe, were absolutely brilliant. Um, couldn't fault them. It's very nice people. And if you needed something or someone wanted something and they didn't have it, one of them used to pop up at the Morrisons and get it. So, it's just <laughs> fabulous. Everybody. It just made you feel welcome as soon as you it's walk through that home. door. It's a home, a, literally a home from home. My name's Alan Nugent. I'm 42 years of age. When I originally came to the End of the Lions Hospice, I was only given two days to live. That was seven weeks ago. The End of the Lions Hospice is um, a lovely place to come. You know, if you have to come here, then, you know, it shouldn't put you off. The word hospice shouldn't put you off, although there is a stigma attached. And that's why I originally didn't want to come here. But now I'm here, I love it here. By supporting Ellen Alliance, you'll be directly supporting the community you live in. Why we've done so much fundraising is the fact that, you know, you always think these things happen to somebody else and actually it could be you. 300 people are currently receiving hospice care in their own home. The school are really keen on supporting local charities. Um, that's something the kids really sort of uh, think is important and we like to reflect of their desire to help local charities. We currently provide support for up to 80 children and young people. Oh, the pub have been fundraising for the hospice and they've actually raised £355 at Easter and we're still collecting now. 250 people are cared for in our hospice every year. The, the care that I'm getting is excellent. And it's not just nurses, it's, it's the, the, um, the housekeepers, it's everybody. It's everybody, you know, they've all got time for you, they all chat to you, you know, it's everything. Ellen Alliance Hospices help 2,500 people annually. 
the shops, um, you know, we if if we weren't here, then the sh people at the hospice, um, they wouldn't have the money to do the things that they do. It's the most worthwhile job I've ever done. Our mission and statement is to enhance quality of life. And as such, if we have a patient that comes in and has a terminal diagnosis and they would like to go in a hot air balloon and we have the capacity to enable them to do that, then we will promote that. Sometimes it's exciting, sometimes it's sad. Um, sometimes we get strength from it and hopefully our patients, they also draw strength from us. Volunteering for Ellen Alliance makes me feel fulfilled and gives me a lot of satisfaction. And I do it for the people that are patients and the visitors that are coming in to see them. To date, I've raised £15,000. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Don't let us lose this resource. It's been such a hard road, but I know we we'll get it right. In the holy city, well, come into sight, and a single prayer light can lead you on. A single prayer light make you strong. Yes, a single spark can. Lead